Hi, I'm John Rose, a Flix developer and consultant. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get FlexMonkey up and running to work with your Flexor Air project. So in this example, we're going to use, <coughs> excuse me, our trusted Twitter client test application. Uh, it's an Air app, Flex 4.1 with Air 2.5. Uh, FlexMonkey will work with most versions of Flex and Air. There are some limitations with Flex 3 and Air, but generally should work. So I'm going to just give this guy a quick run so we can see him working. And we'll just do a little search on Flex here. And yep, we're getting back results. So the app's working right on a Flash Builder. So we're all ready to go. So let's pull up Flex Monkey here. And it looks like he's going to tell us that we need to set up a project. So we'll do that by browsing to our, our uh, workspace directory in this case. Um, it should be very similar if you're not using Flash Builder, but hopefully if you're not, you should have a pretty good feel for um, for how to how to carry over the configuration since so many docs are like that. So I'm going to go into my FlexMonkey samples and my Twitter client, and I'm going to create a new folder. So by convention, we often just put these as uh, our test directory under the project. So we'll put that guy there, and we can select that. And now we've got a project, and there's a handy little setup guide on this screen that'll walk you through uh, configuring Flex for your version of uh, your version of your application. So you pick your SDK version. Uh, you'll notice as I change from Flex 3 to Flex 4, I'm getting different compiler arguments, and there is this box that I want to check for error. Uh, you see that with um, Flex 4 and error, there's actually a couple different automation libraries that we're going to get. So we picked our version of the SDK. We uh, told uh, told the setup guide that we're using Air, and now we're going to do step three, which is to just take this SWIC file and we're going to drag it into our libs directory. So now we've got the library there, and then we just need to copy in our compiler arguments so that FlexMonkey and the automation libraries will get linked in. So in Flash Builder, I just go into my project properties and I can paste that into my uh, compiler arguments line and I'll hit OK and let me pull FlexMonkey back up real quick so we'll go ahead and close out of that and it created a basic test suite for us but the thing I want to highlight here is that it says we're not connected so with the library uh, in the project in the compiler args now when we run it should tell us uh, once it launches that they're connected so hopefully my compiler is not too slow here. We'll have that up in just a second. So there's our application. So I'll move that over so we can put this on top. And yeah, it shows us it's connected now. So if we wanted to do something like verify a button just to validate we're connected, we can switch over the application and we see our highlightings linked in now. Um, so we're all set up and ready to go and start creating tests. So follow that kind of pattern and use the setup guide on the project properties menu and you shouldn't have any problem getting your project set up. Good luck!